One of the questions I had that, that this that you just answered was, you know, if you don't have previous experience or a background in, in computer science, can you be, you know, a developer and can you and can you, you know, can you learn the skills to, to quickly get up to speed and, and make a living from it? And, and as you've shown, Brooks, the answer is yes, but it's not going to be easy. It's not easy. And I and in no way do I want to diminish the value of a computer science degree. I think they are tremendously valued. And it's almost you're approaching the same skill set from two different angles. I think a lot of because I'm back in school now, several years later, doing a, a master's in software development at Boston University. Um, but I think a lot of CS, you may learn more theory first and less about actual programming. Um, while for a lot of us, you know, you probably start with programming first and learn the theory later. And you can get a job knowing how to, you know, string together. To, if I say, if you can put together working syntax, you can probably get a job. But to really take your career to that next level, right, to become that senior developer, that, you know, that tech lead, that software engineer, um, you're still, you're going to need to go back and you are going to need to understand, right, how, yeah, some idea of like, like, you know, data structures, algorithms, how operating systems work, a little bit close to the metal. Um, so, I, you know, I said, yeah, you absolutely can get started without it. And in 2021, 22, everything's probably free and on YouTube anyway, but um, I do not at, at all want to diminish the importance of, I think, the knowledge you get from that sort of curriculum. Yeah, and I would add, um, you know, it's the, the need is there, um, but it's there at every level, too. So for people who are looking to make the change, um, and that's one of the great things about Salesforce, um, you know, I, I make the joke all the time about how, um, you know, Salesforce was made so that you could hire your local waitress to be your Salesforce admin. Uh, and, but it's true. I mean, literally our, our, one of our directors of RevOps was just became an executive assistant. He was, uh, or she was a, uh, a hostess at one of our CEO's favorite restaurants and they developed a great relationship and she began working for his wife and then she began working for him, worked in a small company, started learning this stuff. And she became, you know, she started doing all of this work for us in Salesforce. And over the course of years, she's learned how to do more and more. And now she's a director and she's been doing this. But she started with, I mean, with this low skill set, uh, uh, you know, this low technical skill set that over time has become now she's leading a team of people. Um, but it's it's built so that you can start there and grow from there. And there is a need. There is a vast need for even just people to come in and be admins now and learn how to do more of the functional things that you do as you grow. Um, but there is there is a vast need for people just to get started who can do a lot of the basic administrative work as well.